So I'm going to make this video about the neglect in the middle of the island once again and how it relates to the Pine Barrens because the Pine Barrens and Deer Park are in some serious trouble with the neglect going on there. And it's because they're in the middle of the island, so they're getting neglected while, you know, Babylon is nice and clean and everything. You know, first, we can take you to Babylon and uh, Argyle Lake and uh, we'll go there and we'll just show you how nice everything looks over there, how well kept everything is. Uh, we'll just uh, go here, show you that before we go to Deer Park. So again, everything is well kept. There's no trash everywhere. It's a nice little stream. Uh, it's really nice. No trash. Everything's clean. Everything is nice because it's Babylon and everything's taken care of. So now, and you can see that same thing here. Let's go over here too. Again, this is Southern's Pond. Beautiful. No trash. This is the entrance to Southern's Pond. Really looks beautiful. There's no trash anywhere. Really looks amazing. Alright. Everything's taken care of. Very nice. No trash. And the sign says no dumping. And it is enforced. But, now when we head north to the middle of the island, you will see that it's not enforced. And that Deer Park is treated like utter crap. So, we're going to start off with Long Island Avenue here. And we're going to take a little ride in Long Island Avenue through the Heartland Industrial Park. You already see the trash. Here are the pitch pines being treated like crap. Here's the trash. Alright, so again, you have two different Long Islands. Look at all that trash there. Take a look at that. Let's take a look at that. This was taken in July of 2018, this street view. All right. You can see just how trashed it is. Look at, the, look at this. Look at this. Ugh. This is what's happening in the middle of the island. And this is why I'm just starting to give up on the middle of the island. And if the Pine Barrens get ruined, there really is nothing left for me in the middle of the island. It really. And the Pine Barrens are getting ruined. All right. They're getting trashed. And it doesn't seem like there's anything you can do about it. Uh, I've I've call, made so many calls. I've taken so many videos. And people just don't care. They just want to move away. And that's exactly what's happening. And here is the Edgewood Preserve. All oh, this is the Edgewood Preserve. There's a sign down. I mean, this is, this is unbelievable. And this is the DEC's responsibility. And they don't clean it up. Because, again, nobody cares about this area. Nobody cares about this area. It's just a dumping ground. It's just a dumping ground for all the problems and literally all the trash. Here you go, more trash. The middle of the island just doesn't count anymore. It just doesn't count. These are the pine barrens here. There's bums living in these pine barrens. I've showed them to you before. We're not going to show them again, but there's, there's bums in there. There's bums living in there, camped out. Police don't do anything. I've called elected officials. They don't do nothing. So, I'm going to take you a little bit a little, little bit along here. We're going to go into Heartland here. You can go into Heartland Industrial Park. Because right? this is what they want to do. They want to turn this into an industrial wasteland. That's really all it is. It's becoming an industrial wasteland. And, and the trees are getting cut down, too. It's only a matter of time before these trees get cut down, also. These beautiful pines. It's so beautiful these pines, but look at what they have to have dumped in there, around them. Here's more trash. More trash just dumped there. This is all This is all taken as J July 2018. It's even worse than that now. This whole area is just being turned into a dumping ground. It really is. So I want to take you a little further in because I want to show you just how bad it gets. So they, these are the, they knocked these woods down a while ago. There used to be woods here. This used to be a nice area of woods, but they knocked all this down. Oh, here you go. This is what was here. Used to have this nice area of woods, but of course you had all this trash here too, so. All the trash. The Pine Barrens are getting destroyed. Yes, yeah, all used to be Pine Barrens in here. It was beautiful, and then they knocked this. Happened a while ago. This review is from September 2013. So it used to be a nice Pine Barrens here, but it was knocked down. I don't know what they're building, but they're building more stuff. More industrial stuff, because it's an industrial wasteland. 
That's what the middle of the island is becoming, an industrial wasteland. And the Pine Barrens are going to become an industrial wasteland. Uh, we got some trash over here, too. Not quite as much in this view. Again, this is an old street view from 2013, when things were not as bad. Um, now we're going to take a ride up through the old Pilgrim. All right. While Blue Point is getting a nice park for them and their own kind. Um, we don't get that. We don't get that. So we're going to go over here just because, again, because it's all about the finance professionals. Let's take a look at what's happening to Deer Park. This one was taken in, in July 2018. You can see this trash everywhere, trash littering the roads. And we're going to just take a ride through here on this because this is pretty depressing. You know, empty lots. No parks here. They could put a playground in. They could make a nice little park, but no. Instead, it's an industrial wasteland. Look at all these trucks parked here. This is what they're turning the middle of the island into. And don't tell me the governor isn't involved in this. He is instrumental in this. This is all part of the plan. This is the agenda for the middle. Turn it into an industrial wasteland. A ghetto. Industrial wasteland with ghetto housing full of illegals. Full of problems. And look at all the trash. So take this ride up. And MS-13 is, 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 is trying to take over these woods, too. I think they found a body around here, down in, the, in these woods looking east. Again, these are the Pine Barrens, being ruined. Let's look at some more trash, shall we? There you go, more trash. And this is where they want to build that mini city as we get into Pilgrim. How about cleaning up the trash and turning this into a beautiful park? Because you know that's what would happen if this was the South Shore. But no, instead... The trash, we get more and more trash. Look at these beautiful pines here. Look at these beautiful great shapes. But it's getting ruined. It's getting ruined. Only a matter of time before they knock that down too. Only a matter of time. This is this is the agenda. Turn the middle of the island into industrial wasteland. Like the middle of Queens, like Jamaica. Alright, all this is gonna be gone. These are decaying buildings. Take a look at these, this graffiti all over the place and these decaying. These are abandoned buildings from Pilgrim. Again, why isn't this? Why isn't there a park here? Why isn't there a park here? No, only for Blue Point, right? Only for Blue Point. What do we get? We get more dumping. We get more garbage. I mean, we can't. If we can't overcome this, the middle of the island is just going to be. This is going to be the middle of the island. All right, graffiti, garbage, trash everywhere. Look at this. All right. Isn't this horrible? Isn't this horrible? And this is currently owned by the state. All right, so the state's responsible for this. N nothing gets done. Nothing gets done. They don't care. But if this was the South Shore, it would be cleaned up and made into a nice park. But no, here it's just left to rot. It's just left to rot. And no, the development that they want to build here is not the answer. What they need to do is get rid of all these damn buildings, knock them down, and turn this into a park. Clean up the garbage, anybody dumping, you put your trail cams in, and you catch them, and they go to jail. That's what you do. But sorry, we don't get that. We don't get that. Because only a certain demographic matters. We get nothing but trash. We get nothing but neglect. We get nothing but ghetto scenes, one after another, after another, after another, after another. While the South Shore gets the best of everything. Because this is how their way of getting rid of us. This is their way of getting rid of us. If you can't have a good quality of life, if you need to be a freaking stockbroker or finance professional to have a good quality of life, and those who aren't stockbrokers and finance professionals get to deal with scenes like this, well, they're going to wind up moving out. They're not going to wind up being put, putting up with this. People are tired of the trash going on. We're tired of the Pine Barrens getting trashed. And this is exa another example of what's going on here. All right, An industrial wasteland is what the middle of the island is becoming very quickly. All right, And I'm going to keep making videos as long as I'm here talking about this. But the reality of it is, is that the middle of the island is... is, is, is really becoming a losing battle at this point and it gets to a point where you just gotta say that's it let's go to the south shore let's get away from this nonsense but 
the problem is we're not allowed to live on the South Shore. That's the problem. So I'm not allowed to live uh, on the South Shore, uh, you know, it, it, where everything is nice. No, nope. you got to be one of those people. you got to be one of those finance professionals to get to be in Babylon. Otherwise, sorry, you're not going to be able to be here and enjoy the, the nice bustling town. you got to be one of these people. you got to be one of these finance professionals. Otherwise, you get to deal with uh, dying towns and, and garbage everywhere. All right. Meanwhile, in Babylon, everything is great. It's two different freaking worlds, two different Long Islands, one for the, the white finance professionals, and then one for the rest of us. And uh, unfortunately, uh, it's, it's getting more and more to the point where if you can't really be on the South Shore, there's just no point in living on Long Island anymore. So that's going to be it for this video. Thank you for watching.